Hello and welcome everyone to this auction video for this uh, 16 plate Astra, it's a turbo Astra and it's got 86,000 miles. Uh, I've just driven it up and down the dual carriageway and can confirm it's a very nice drive. Uh, it's very tidy this one, it has got a few little knocks here and there but overall it's in, uh, I would describe it as in good condition. And uh, yeah, nice, nice drive. There was a slight issue with the uh, with the clutch pedal when I first jumped in it. Just check it again now. It's fine now. But when I first jumped in it, that clutch pedal stayed down just a tiny bit, and then it came back up. So look, I'm no mechanic or engineer or anything like that, but it might be the clutch master cylinder. But I didn't have a problem with it when I was driving and it seems fine now. So, yeah, bear that in mind. But on from that, it's a good drive. Nice, tidy car. Let's have a look around it and see what damage we can find. So starting off on this front arch here, looking uh, tidy. I've taken photos of all the wheels, lots of photos of any damage I've found. So please also study those for an in-depth description more so. I'll take you for a quick walk around and see what I can find. There is a couple of little chips or small chips. I don't know if my uh, phone will, will focus on it. There we go. Just there on the windscreen. Um, what else have we got? The front side here, it's a bit dirty. It had a wash on Friday, now it's Monday. So uh, yeah, it's been sat and I've also road tested it. So there's a bit of dirt on it. There are some stone chips here and there, as you would expect headlights look good on both sides and yeah, the crawl wing spider uh, a few little stone chips again on the bonnet uh, i have tried to take photos of these but my camera's not picking it up very well because of the color but there are a few little marks and stone chips as you would expect for a vehicle this age uh, a few more here again stone chips a few more here uh, there so yeah a few little stone chips your typical wear and tear I would say uh, there is a little uh, looks like there's been a little bit of contact here in the middle of that front bumper on the lower balance there as well a tiny little scuff that I missed that on the photos but and a bit more here which I've actually just managed to take off a little bit so that needs a little bit of touch up a few marks through here and some of this grill was slightly broken and spotted that actually on my photos. So yeah, there's a few things that are not spotted, but it's on the video, so there we go. Um, and yeah, I'm not sure if this has seen any kind of paintwork, anything like that, but there's, uh, it might just be dirt. I'm not really sure to be honest. Again, a few more marks and stone chips again. And we have a little bit of damage on this front arch. It's quite minor, uh, that would probably be able to be sorted quite easily. I expect these marks here might even kind of polish off, but don't quote me on that. And a few more scuffs here going, going through the arch. And maybe a little bit of, uh, of a mark here as well on the lower part of the arch. And let's go on over to the mirror. A few little marks, but nothing that wouldn't kind of clean up, I don't think. Uh, this driver's door, it almost looks like there's leftover polish on this door, but I've wiped it down a few times and it's not changing. So I can only guess there's maybe been a previous repair at some point. Uh, it doesn't actually look that bad in person on the camera, it's looking a little worse, but it's not that bad. It just looks a little bit like uh, it's not been cleaned up properly after, I don't know, whatever's gone on with that door. But yeah, just to be aware of that. Um, handles themselves aren't looking too bad. A few little marks, nothing crazy. There's bits of dirt on this car, just needs more of a clean again, I think. Just had a quick go over on our wash bay. Um, didn't go crazy with it, it's actually quite tidy already. Uh, a few little marks here on the arch. That's dirt again. Maybe that's a stone chip, I'm not sure. A tiny little bent here on the arch. Uh, and some kind of bubble here going on, on the paint work on the rear bumper. A few more kind of stone chips again on the arch. Um, nothing that really stands out to me on from that. Let's uh, go around to the back here, see what we can see. A 
bit of a, a mark here. I think my gloves are actually leaving more marks. I've picked up too much dirt on them. Um, yeah, a little bit of a mark there. A tiny scratch on the bumper. A little bit of a, uh, again, more of a scratch again there. We've seen some contact on this rear bumper here. So we've got a bit of missing paint here. Nothing crazy though. And a bit of a scuff going up the rear driver's side bumper. So let's see what else we can see. Keep walking around. Uh, again, is that dirt or a stone chip? I'm not sure. That might be a stone chip by the fuel cap. A few more marks through here as well. Tiny little marks. Um, possible stone chip. Your usual wear and tear scratches on the door handles. There's a few marks through here, tiny little ones the camera hardly picks up. Um, but yeah, a few little marks there, a few very light scratches going on that door. Another stone now, that's dirt. Um, it's not looking too bad at all. Uh, a few little marks on the driver's handle, handle, uh, door handle, sorry. And yeah, just dirt and a couple of little marks here on the driver's door as well. Nothing major, really. A few little nicks down here. Hard to see that, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, I'm picking holes really. I just really want to be as, give as comprehensive a look over as I can on this vehicle for you. And the driver's mirror, again, looking quite tidy. Let's just have a look at the wheels, driver's side, uh, front wheel, and the rear taking photos of these like I said so study those passenger rear wheel the tires have all got good tread depths so that's good to see and the front uh, passenger side there a few more marks as they always tend to come in contact with the curb when people are parking so yeah that's that let's have a look inside have a look at the boots get the boot up the boot is supporting its weight nicely and everything's present complete with the uh, the shelf there and a nice clean area and we have a puncture repair kit there that's all that um, let's have a look in the back of the car i've checked all the windows all the windows work it's got electric windows all round and um, we've got good condition seats in here which are nice and tidy uh, this hasn't had a clean up on the inside so this is just a genuine uh, representative of its condition from its previous owner so yeah you can tell it's been looked after so look at this side again hard looking nice and tidy tinted windows and uh yeah nice and tidy nothing really to report there bring it around to the passenger side again as i said i've checked all the windows they all work tinted windows again it's like a blue hue to the tint We've got lots of books with lots of service history and a lock-in wheel nut. I'll take you through that in a set. But all looking tidy and presentable. Seats are all looking nice, clean. No big uh, cuts or skags or anything like that. Nothing going on, all good condition. Let's just take you into the uh, driver's seat. We've got the controls there. I've not checked the uh, yeah, electric window uh, mirrors also work okay. So that's all of those bits checked. In. Okay, so we have, let's take the handbrake off. I've got no warning lights apart from the uh, seatbelt light there because I haven't got my seatbelt on. We've got a mileage of 86,198 miles. We've got aircon. I've uh, not been able to check that because it's quite cold out. Heated seats, they work as well. And um, we've got a bit of paint missing off that button there, but it's easily rectified. And you've also got the, uh, I think that's city steering, I think, for the, uh, or heated, heated steering wheel. I'm not really sure, to be honest. Um, so yeah, we've got all those buttons, six speed. And uh, yeah, here we go. Let's have a look at all these books and things. So we've got a nice array of all the booklets and manuals, user manuals, etc., and a nice, Vauxhall wallet and a nice Vauxhall service history book nicely stamped up first stamp being in 2017 I've taken photos of all these so please do study the photos 2018 19 20 21 and 22 
26th of April 22 was its last service, so it's due another one in April, so that will give it a full service history. And uh, yeah, so that's great stuff. And yeah, nice car. Couldn't actually, let's just have another look at that clutch. Clutch is fine. It was just the first time when I jumped in it, that clutch pedal didn't really operate very smoothly, but it seems uh, seems fine now. Okay, so let's have a look under the bonnet. Hope you've enjoyed today's video and uh, happy bidding. Uh, one other thing I did miss is this uh, bumper is just not staying in place properly. So that is worth uh, also noting there. It's not massively out, but yeah, not staying in place. So anyway, thank you. Thanks again for watching.